fifth grade, I walked towards the slide on the playground, feeling the rough wood chips crunch under my Spider-Man Crocs. <laughs> I finally reached a structure. Beginning my ascent, a daunting feeling begins to come over me, but I brush it off. After all, what harm can come from a four-foot slide? Peeking the steps, I lean towards the green, slick plastic, and mounting the seat to my destiny, I slide. <laughs> Landing to my ride, I feel content, but then a little confused. All around me, I see faces, all pointed at me. Some laughing, some smiling, some disgusted, but all of this is something that I hadn't. My pants fell down. <laughs> Everyone noticed. And then I cried. <laughs> We've all been on that slide at one point in our lives. The only difference is how we handle it afterwards. This time, life had the last laugh. Laughing. Defined by Merriam-Webster dictionary as the sound movements of the face and body are the instinctive expressions of lively amusement. <laughs> or in normal terms, a sound one makes when they experience something that brings them joy. It's a powerful force. Harnessing the power of laughter is a rough lesson I had to teach myself. Or rather, my mom had to teach me. <laughs> Sometimes against my will. She would always tell me to laugh at myself before anyone else could laugh at me. At first, I was a little hesitant with its methodology. I thought, what good can come from making fun of myself? Turns out there's more than a couple of benefits. To explain some of the upsides, I'll give an example that may or may not correlate to my life at some point in time. Okay. <clears throat> You're sitting in the playground in fifth grade. It was a rough year. <laughs> All of a sudden, football is turtling towards your face and bam. The impact happens to bend your extremely stylish wire-rimmed glasses. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. <laughs> what do you do at this point? Do you A, cry? B, cry, but with more gusto? <laughs> or C, laugh? I know, the answer is really hard. A and B are neck and neck, but contrary to popular belief, the best answer is most definitely C. Allow me to elaborate. The effect of laughing here is twofold. It helps people around you feel more comfortable, sure, but overall it helps you, as the pain of embarrassment is completely eradicated. I've had my fair share of spills in the past, and I can say with absolute certainty that those ending in laughter make much better memories than those ending in tears. So laughter can help the more situational side of making mistakes, but what about the physiological benefits? Hearing the phrase, laughter is the best medicine, I began to do some research among the effects laughter can have on the body. And through that research, I found that laughter is linked to hernias. <laughs> asthma attacks. And death. <laughs> Don't laugh, you'll hurt yourself. <laughs> Although it's not all that bad, as there are some great benefits to the human psyche. It can serve as a way to con your brain. We all love to lie to other people, but now you can lie to yourself. <laughs> in the best way possible. See, when one laughs, endorphins are released in the brain. These endorphins are proven to relieve happiness and stress and even to relieve some pain. So you just all my pants fall down and I start crying, which makes me feel worse, which makes me cry more, which makes me feel, you get the point. Or my pants fall down and I start laughing. This makes me feel happy, more comfortable, and even some pain is gone. Now you see what I mean by the power of laughter. I think it's also safe to say now that, for legal reasons, I do not condone the testing in any way of the pain-reducing endorphins released by laughter. Please, nobody jump for anywhere, start laughing, and think your leg will not be broken anymore. <laughs> and if you do, please don't mention my name. <laughs> so laughter can help me personally feel better after I make a mistake, but what about moving past myself? Moving into helping others? Yeah, it's that time in the speech that you all saw coming. The call to action. <laughs> The part where I explain how laughing yourself can change the world around you. How I, Sean Conley, created world peace through one fifth rich joke of my pants falling down. Yeah, that's probably not going to happen. You can at least help a couple of people around you. This is through a phenomenon called neural mirroring. It basically states that one's reaction to something can inspire similar reactions to people around them, 
whether it be happy or sad. So your glasses break and you start crying, making the people around you feel sad. They eventually lead you to wallow in your own broken glasses self-pity. <laughs> or your glasses break and you start laughing. This makes people around you feel better, more comfortable, and overall, just a better time. It makes you feel better, makes them feel better, increases your risk of a hernia just a little bit. <laughs> but overall, a much better memory is made. I guess in a way, laughter is the best medicine. Not literally or even physically, but it can help in those times of vital need. It can change those moments you wish you could forget. More from the memories you hope to always remember. More from the stories you can't wait to tell. I guess what I want you all to remember is there's always more to do than just cry. Because in life, your pants will fall down. Your glasses may be broken by a stray football, but in those times, ask yourself, who had the last laugh? Thank you.